Nick, what would you say to someone who, first off, thinks that entertainment wrestling is fake and compare the wear and tear and entertainment wrestling to amateur wrestling? All right. Uh, someone who would say this is fake, um, I would say why I've get in the ring with you for two minutes and I'll show you that it's not. But uh, it's, it's, it's very difficult. I've actually, uh, it's, it's fun and entertaining at some points, but a majority of the time it's very physical, very draining. Um, my, my three and a half years of doing it, I've had way more injuries and not by accidental, it's just from constantly getting beat down or traveling 200 miles one night, getting to another town, trying to work out, getting to a show, hoping everything goes well on the show, and it's just, it's a lot of high-flying things, and it's a much more chance for error or getting hurt. And uh, I say I, I collegiately wrestled for 20 years, and all I had was a, a grinded down. Shoulder. You're saying folk style. You, folk you wrestled, style. yeah, yeah. And uh, for collegiate like style. 20 years, all I really had was a, a grinded down shoulder, a couple, a couple, uh, one or two concussions, I think. But here, uh, three and a half years, I've had uh, a couple concussions. Uh, a couple different shoulder things. It's, it, it's constantly, it's very physical and it's uh, very demanding on your body. And sometimes when you don't want to be ready to go, you have to. How? What, what would you say? Uh, what's your list? Some of the injuries. How are your your knees, your ankles, your elbows? Uh, back, my, neck. My back. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Um, I finally went to a chiropractor maybe uh, for like a full diagnosis, maybe about a year, year and a half ago, and it's. Uh, I've been a wrestling at that time for about two and a half years, so I had uh, three bulging discs, two herniated discs in my back. Uh, back hurts a lot, kind of land on it. Um, I've had a couple different shoulder injuries, a couple separated shoulders. Um, I think, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, my my elbow, uh, the first second, my elbow uh, busted a few different times. I've had it drained. Um, I have several uh, bone spurs and bone chips in my elbows from either taking falls or being slammed down. A um, couple different concussions. From, what were the concussions from? How were those? Um, How'd they occur? What you remember? Uh, I think uh, I was taking a clothesline from someone and uh, which is kind of arm across the neck or chest area. I, th I believe it pretty much caught me under the chin, kind of knocked me out like a boxer would I guess. But that part didn't affect me too much as the snapping back down onto the ground unprotected. That kind of uh, screwed up my head a little bit. Do you ever catch a chair? Uh, yeah. Uh, I've been hit with a chair one, one time uh, by uh, Shawn Michaels on Monday Night Raw one time. And it, it blasted me pretty good right in front of the head and it, it uh, knocked me out. Kind of rolled out of the ring onto the floor and uh, that's all I remember about that part. You don't remember walking up the ramp or anything? No. Okay. What do you think of guys like Kurt Angle, who's an actual, he's a gold medalist, he's an amateur wrestler, okay, uh, was it, it's, I think, pretty much five guys, you, Angle, Lashley, Lesnar, and who's the other guy, Char Charlie Haas? Charlie Haas and uh, Shelton Benjamin. Shelton Benjamin, so there are six real guys that had, like, actual amateur yeah. wrestling careers. There, there might be a few others, I'm not really sure, but there's a... Shelton Benjamin and Charlie Haas are on the roster right now, and they're uh, yeah they were all Americans. They did very well, and it's everyone who's in front of us, especially Kurt Angle, uh, kind of set the tone for all of us to uh, show like the ethic, uh, work ethic, and backgrounds that we have, and that's actually usually very positive for uh, this line of work. That means we're you know pretty determined to get to the top one way or another. We're not gonna fizzle out after a couple months or something like that. Those guys, those guys kind of set the tone for a lot of us and hopefully more after me but it's uh, you know, it's kind of like a fraternity of guys that wrestle kind of have mutual respect for each other and it's uh, it's done nothing but help me condition wise body wise and mentally for, for this job I have now alright you can give me either your best high school college or WWE story give me give me a good story I'll give you a good one we uh, I just thought of it uh, when I was with the Spirit Squad, we actually uh, got to wrestle um, the Big Show, who a lot of people know, and Kane, who was a, another. Uh, he's six foot ten. The Big Show is seven foot one or something like that. They're giant guys, and uh, we were defending our World Tag Team Championships against them. And uh, we came out to the ring first, uh, and the ring announcer had a, a microphone with a wire, 
and we decided to, one of us had brought a sub sandwich out with us, <laughs> and we placed it in the middle of the ring, and we made somewhat of like a trap you would make for animals in the woods, or with uh, like a lasso with the uh, um, a snare with the with the microphone. Yeah, you would know. <laughs> The microphone cord made a big circle around it, and uh, in the middle of the ring, put the sandwich, and we took the edge of the microphone. We all hopped out of the ring, and we waited for them to come down. They came down to the ring, Big Show and Kane, and Big Show actually saw the sandwich, and actually did not see the cord or the snare. And as he went to grab the sandwich, we uh, we hooked him. We called us a Big Show, and uh, he got pretty angry about that. Uh, threw the sandwich at us, and then. Uh, <laughs> For the next 20 minutes of the match or so, pretty much beat the crap out of us. He pulled you, huh? Pretty bad, yeah. <laughs> it was funny. That's a good one. All right, Nick, thanks. Sure.